The game seems to be running pretty smoothly, actually, despite streaming. I think it's because I've been playing so much in areas where the frame rate isn't as good, like Ashina Castle in the endgame, and I've been playing Monster Hunter World, which kind of wrecks my laptop, and also I've been playing it at 30 FPS. So playing this now, it feels like smooth butter, which I almost just described as smeals like Now, I have Empowered Mortal Draw. I'm trying to decide on what exactly I want to use for this fight. Spiral Cloud Passage is really good. Dragon Flash isn't a bad idea. It can help with dealing damage at a distance if one of them is low. My name is oh, thank you, Radazel. Rad Azazel. For following. I'm wondering if maybe that sound was a bit too loud. The Gyobu scream. Let me know, because it sounded very loud on my end. I actually forgot I had that audio set up, so I was just sitting in here and went, wait, is Gyobu attacking? What's going on? It might be too loud then. I'll actually... See if I can change that in the settings really quick. I believe that would be in the editor and alert box. Probably under properties. Yeah, there we go. Volume. Let's put that down to like... 18 because it was very loud the other two i'm pretty sure are rather quiet okay now that that is set up let's get ready i almost just hit the record button even though i'm streaming so for this early on he's going to be like Resting up against this, he's like drinking water that's dripping down on him. The spear, of course, is going to be very useful, but you don't really want to use it that much when both of them are alive for no hit, no damage, because the iframes aren't very good for that uh, spear pull. So I think I'll be going with Oganaka's flame vent at first. I might also just do some tests to see how much damage I can get off using Divine Confetti with Empower Mortal Blade and Yasha Riku. You want to Yasha Riku after the Divine Confetti. The Yasha Riku will last shorter. Let's see just the damage for now. Very good. That's um, some hits, but I'm just testing damage right now. Damage on that, also pretty good. I need to get him to stop what he's doing for a moment. See? Yeah, the damage on that's still very good. I think I'll go with the Empowered Mortal Draw, though. I believe there would be just better opportunities overall. The Spiral Cloud Passage would be better if I was just allowing myself to get hit and wanted to nuke his health. Empowered Mortal Draw is going to be more useful in more scenarios, I think. Also, I just tried to run using the Monster Hunter World settings. Also, that's going to be a frustrating thing about doing this is those guys right there. And do let me know if you have any questions. During No Hit No Damage, I can read in between fights. And sometimes I can catch a glimpse of the chat. Here we go, yet another attempt. It's not really necessary. He's going to scream.
this first phase, I really don't have to kind of pay too much attention. This is just like, I don't know, what would you call it? A preamble? There we go. Now the second ape will come out. I'm actually going to Divine Confetti up again. He will drop right there. Ow, and I got hit. How much does the fire do on this guy? Let's see. That is considerable. Okay, I can actually use this to get a lot of damage down on him. I can probably fire, then when he's stuck like that, mortal draw. I bet I can kill that second ape pretty quickly. Now, each time I do have to get past these guys without getting hit, which is going to be frustrating whenever I get hit and have to run back and sit down. For the start here, I think I won't be buffing. I'm going to save the buffs for second ape. I can, however, do this. Scream? Yep. Okay, I thought he was going to scream. Oh, I screwed that up. But, yeah, this is less dangerous than I thought it was originally going to be. Sword only is quite a bit different. It's much longer. Since I can't just do really big, heavy hits on either of them, then. Here goes yet another attempt. That was kind of funny. Uh, his hitbox hadn't moved yet, so I couldn't hit him. Get some damage in before second ape comes. Next phase. Get out of the way. Gotta be very aware of the positioning when he's going to scream so that I'm not stuck in a corner. That would, of course, be quite bad. Scream. Yeah, I was a little bit close to the walls there. Oh, I knocked him out of that in an accident. That's not good, actually. Okay, come on. Okay, <laughs> that was, um, so a little bit of what happened right there <laughs> when switching to my hand to do the jump and then do the deflect, I kind of positioned my hand wrong. Basically, I hit the wrong button <laughs> to put it lightly. My hand just completely missed the left, uh, like L1. I just completely missed it. So that's what happened there. <laughs> okay, another attempt. Let's go.
knocking his head out of his hand. Yeah, that would be cool if that was possible. Green? Huh. That one I'm actually not sure. I thought I pressed it in time. I might be used to the timing of Monster Hunter World still. I've been playing it a lot recently, so... I might have just not gotten used to the Sekiro timing again yet. Yeah, I could have swore I pressed it right on time. But I don't think that was the game making a mistake. I think something about just my perception of that was off. But all right, on to the next attempt. Gotta run away from the screen. No, that's not good. I don't like when I accidentally hit the uh, wrong part of the combo or the boss basically misses me, making the deflect not happen because he missed me. Oops, I wanted to dodge through that, basically. And that's why that happened. Yeah, I feel, th I feel like I'm used to how slow Monster Hunter is, like Monster Hunter World is right now. So I keep making these mistakes because I haven't played Sekiro in a few days. This is my first time playing Sekiro in days. Is immediately going to no hit no damage. I probably should have done a bunch of warm ups. But anyway, here is the next attempt. You're gonna scream? Yep. And you always remember dodge forwards. Dodging forwards gives you more eye frame. Right there, he just missed. Oh, thank you, Red Azazel. I'm glad you're enjoying the historical lore through. Screen. Team Kit circling around a little bit. But I'm not stuck in a corner. Yep. Yep. Time to reset that. I do have another episode of the historical lore through to work on. Next up will be a uh, very hate-filled boss. Both uh, the boss itself contains a lot of hate, and the community has a lot of hate for the boss. Alright, another attempt. That was a pretty fast sweep that time. I feel like usually it has a little bit of a delay before that. Green? Oh no. Gotta reset that. The problem of streaming this, you end up watching the attempts, so people might get a bit bored because it's not always one and done like Genichiro was. 
Some of them go by pretty fast, but I mostly have like the really RNG heavy and tough bosses left in like multi enemy bosses. I've already done the final boss. This one I kind of consider harder because it's more RNG heavy because of the second ape. If it was just him, it actually wouldn't be that bad. Ah, uh, you haven't beaten that uh, hatred-filled boss yet? It is a rather tough boss. It's like a war of attrition. You have to play consistently for a very long time against it because it has so much health. Unless you know the tricks like using various things that make it have states of weakness. Yep, scream. The one you always have to be wary of, too, is he has an insta scream. Alright. Now I need to get away from this center spot. So I can go over here. I don't want a hidden tooth. I need to let that thing drop. It'll do a slam on the ground. And I can fire. And I got hit by the Guardian Ape. Well, time to reset yet again. Just poor timing on my part. When I saw he was going to do the dive, I should have released immediately. So that it would have just been this. So I could immediately dodge away. It was the sort of thing where I resigned to my fate when I saw it happening, but I could have maybe saved myself if I had just released right away. I wonder if maybe I should Divine Confetti and stuff early on, because this fight just takes a very long time. And I have multiple, so I might as well. Here goes another attempt. You see, you deal a lot more damage. Well, this will just take much less time. And I'm using emblems and items anyway, because I find the ape is really frustrating. I ran away because I thought he might scream. Oh, that was weird. That actually hit me before the animation, I think. I'd have to look over that footage again, but it looked like he hit me before the animation, actually. I still would have deflected there. That was still a mistake on my end. That just, it looked like the hit counted before the animation touched me. Before he, like, really swung. I don't know. Maybe those watching also saw that. Green? Yep. And if you hug his body, if he does that jump up and come down, scream? Yep. He will do the overhead so you can get that deflect off. If you aren't next to him when he does that, you won't get it.
Probably scream? No. Okay. Yep, it is a scream actually. Alright. Alright, Divine Confetti has already worn off. Is he gonna scream? Yep. I wanted to make sure I wasn't in that corner. And he even, like, jumped. He, like, did a little step dodge so that I would be stuck in that corner. See? Scream. This should be it for him. There we go. Now he will go over there to my right. Oh, he still hit me that time. Well, I guess I'll just have to wait until after, because he keeps doing that running slide hit. I thought I was far enough away that time, but I guess I wasn't. It does have a really long range. I hate these ghosts so much. They're so annoying. Alright, we will be doing another attempt. Nope, oh, screwed it up. So how are you doing, Brad Azazel? Doing another attempt. Scream. I really hate that slide attack. I should just, well, no, you shouldn't jump it actually, because jumping it sometimes will hit you while you're in the air, even though it doesn't make any sense. Jumping it is generally safer. I just, I don't like that slide attack animation. There are certain animations I just don't like because I find they're a bit unclear. Another attempt. That slide attack is one. Yeah, there we go. There's the sudden scream. Going to come up. Those were a lot of deflects I normally don't go for because they're very unsafe. No, oh, I couldn't. I was still in the attack animation. So, dang it. His attack came just as I was on the end of the attack animation, so there wasn't any reaction I could do there. 
which is unfortunate. If it had been any earlier, I could have deflected out of the attack. One of the things about Sekiro, I'll show it right here actually. So the attack, if you start an attack, you can block out of it. But if your sword is basically above, you can't anymore. As soon as the sword is up above, like halfway through the swing, you can't do that anymore. All right, time for another attempt. It's very precise timing. You don't really want to rely on it. not now are you gonna scream it's not maybe the sudden scream I hate that one now he's gonna do the regular scream Kind of in a dangerous position. I want to get out of this corner. Yep, there we go, screw. Nope. Oh, Got to reset. The timing on some of these attacks can be pretty brutal. It's not simply that they're very fast, it's that there are a lot of different sword combos you have to remember this specific timing for. The thing that gets me the most actually is deflecting too early often. It's slower attacks that are my problem. Another attempt. I actually made a mistake there. I missed a hit. Well, that was a bizarre one. That fourth deflect. I normally don't even have that touch me. I always deflect just in case. So I'm glad I did. I guess not. Are you going to scream? He's being extra careful there. There's the scream. Oh, am I too close to a wall? Okay. Was a little worried there. This should be it for this phase. There we go. Now I'm going to run away because I'm kind of close and I don't want the other ape falling on me. Right there. But I'm going to wait this time because he has done this slide pretty consistently here. He didn't this time. Okay. Still being extra careful. Try 
All right, I'm low on emblems, which is not good. Here comes the slide. That was one I was afraid of him doing. Nope, I was too far away. Oh yeah, I'm also not at enough emblems for that. Oh, what is Headless doing? Okay. I need to wait for the right opportunity. It might be coming up soon. Not a good one. Nope, sliding in. Glad I saw that in time. Whew. Very dangerous here. Okay, got in a hit. This is a very dangerous attack he does right there. Now I got hit by the damn it. That sucks. So I'm thinking maybe Yasha is out. Because I could really use that more for the mortal draws. Let's see, how much does this cost? It's three, right? Yeah, three, three, two. Spear I might not even use, actually. But that one went pretty good. As soon as the second ape is dead, it would have pretty much been over. Unless I screwed up. I missed another hit there on the way down. Let's see how this attempt goes and see if it's a victory. Oh, that was a very late deflect on my end. Alright, the screen. If I do get this, I guess I'll do some cheat treatment attempts. Actually, I don't mind that interrupt because I don't like that combo he was going to do. To back off because I don't want to get hit by him on the way down. Now nope, I was still too close. Damn it. I thought I was just out of reach, but no. I guess it doesn't matter how far away I am. He's going to slide all the way to me every time. I really need to stop trying to find a sweet spot for that because it just won't work. I need to like ingrain that in my mind. It is physically impossible. He will move within range and then do the slide. So here goes another attempt. Get some hits on the way down. Well, that was unfortunate.
Don't want to accidentally tooth instead of buff. That would be bad. Now well, let's do yet another attempt. I got both hits on the way down that time. What are you gonna do? In a scream? Yep. Ah, okay. That was just, I thought he was going to scream and just screwed that up. I deflect. I have a weird thing I've noticed in this game. You can deflect so late, it gets counted as a block which I find incredibly confusing. Just absolutely baffling. I don't understand how it works. It seems like it's a tighter timing than actually deflecting is the too late deflect that happens. And it's a thing I don't really understand what's happening when it happens. I don't even know if it's because it's too late, or if it's because of it's during a certain part of the animation, or what. It's just my best description of what's happening when it happens. Yep, screen. That's not a scream. It is, however, an attack that goes pretty far. That was a really weird thing. I've never seen him do that before. Okay. I'm really close to these walls. Usually the deflect I do for that is when the sword is like on the midway down. Yeah, very irregular patterns here. I've got to remember to not flame vent right here. It has not worked ever. Okay, he's going to come along here. This is way too far away. Yeah, that was way too far away. I don't know what I was thinking there. Oh, come on. I'm just so frustrated by that. That is just flat out ridiculous. Maybe I should just firecracker instead. Let's see if I get rid of these, how it goes. Maybe I shouldn't rely on the long weight of the flame vent and just go for firecracker mortal draw instead so here goes another attempt and the reason i'm not doing this sword only is this stream would take for fucking ever oh that's a scream no he's been doing the sword swing so many times consistently now i got used to him not screaming anymore and then he screams even though previously he had also been really consistently screaming. And it's something so hard to control. 
because my foot like being even like an inch to a different direction could end up meaning his pattern completely changes. Or if I'm floating up the ledge like here. So here goes another attempt. Here's the screen. Oh, hello, Nally. I want to get out of this corner here. Some damage in here. You can scream. Yep, scream. I actually got hit by the fourth one there. That one almost never hits. That's actually strange to me that it's hit me tw well. I deflected one that time it hit my guard. That fourth swing. Even though... I'm trying to think. That might be the first time that's happened in like... Three to four months to me. Is that swing even hitting? And it's hit me twice on the same stream. So to me, that's like how rare it is that that attack even connects with you because it's just for a long time. I actually thought it couldn't actually hit. I didn't know those even had hitboxes. I thought it was just swinging for like the sake of it looking cool. And then now twice on the stream, it's hit me, which is really bizarre. Oh yeah, here goes yet another attempt. Oops, scream. If you're fast enough, you can hit him there when you jump. Another scream. He's wasting a lot of time. He's wasting my divine confetti. Just smart of him. Very a very tricky headless ape. Yep, there goes the divine confetti. Let's get away from the edges. That's why. I had a feeling that was coming. Sooner or later. I might vitality kill him before the posture, kinda. It's pretty... yep. Oh, that timing! I'm so sad about that. That was near perfect. Because it wasn't near perfect, it was a catastrophic failure. Or... Because it wasn't perfect, it was a catastrophic failure. Near perfect, I consider to be a catastrophic failure in general. Get another attempt going here. On confetti, two hits on the way down. Running away. Green. You can get another hit, but sometimes you get hit with his sword when you do that. So I sometimes avoid it. Here we go. What are you gonna do? Green.
Yep, scream. And there's a scream. His health is pretty low. I still hate that attack a lot. Let's see, is he going to be dead this time? I don't think so, actually. He's close, though. He's very close. He's ready to be killed. There we go. He's dead now for that phase. I'm going to run away and divine confetti. I'm going to try to use a firecracker instead of flame vent to stun that ape long enough to get a mortal draw. He keeps doing the sliding hit right here as he's doing now. And I don't like it. Okay, he's going to do that back off, and then he's going to swing around, coming towards me. Oh, I walked into the scream. I'm so... Ah, this sucks. This fight... Don't like it for no hit, no damage at all. It's one of those things where... People watching might wonder why this is taking so long. Why I can't just like effortlessly do this. I should be effortlessly doing phase one. Phase one should be a cakewalk that I'm not doing it every single time. Just shows how out of practice I am because I haven't been playing for a few days. But second phase is just pure random, pure RNG. That second ape, whenever you have more than one enemy in this game, it's just random. Which is also why I'm trying to, like, craft a way to kill the second ape incredibly quickly. As you saw, that one that was kind of close, it took a really long time. Because I just have to sprint around and watch and wait for openings. Because the second ape can hit you at any moment. Or if you're fighting the second ape, the headless ape can hit you at any moment. And if you're caught in the middle of an attack animation or doing something, you're just screwed. There's nothing you can do. Green? Yep. You also can't rely on the spear pole. The iframes for it are very few. Now, it will be very saddening if I don't get a victory on this stream. So how are you doing anyway, Nowie? You got it some exotics and destiny and some catalysts. That's good. I don't really remember. I, I think exotics are pretty rare, aren't they? Catalysts, I don't actually know what that is. I didn't. I only played destiny one, I think. What are you going to do? Frame. 
They required quest chains. Okay. Oh, right into it. There we go. Exotics are the rarest tier of them. Okay. I guess I should be reading chat during the fight, but... Well, you know, it's a stream. Why well, I'll stream if I'm not going to read the chat. Catalyst buff the exotics. Okay. Stream. I could have actually hit him right there and killed him, I think, before he got his arm up. There we go. First phase down. Now to back off and buff up. I might just play this incredibly safe instead of going for any of the opportunities I have been. Do your slide. That's not the slide. Oh, okay. Yep. Very annoying. Very annoying indeed. So that is the most, I guess second most dangerous. Depends on what you're doing. That big jump up that he just did isn't as dangerous if you're not going for spear pulls or if you're focusing on the headless save. If you are, however, that's the most dangerous. This is the, if you're not, the most dangerous one is the attack he just did where he jumps forwards and swings. If he does that, you don't want to be sprinting. You want to stop, face him, and tap guard to deflect it. Since I was mid-run, I was just fucked. There was nothing I could do. Time for another attempt. Going for the screen. Nope. Read that up. I am at the point where my vision is starting to get slightly blurry and my muscles are really hurting. My neck and back especially, as well as my toes. I actually don't know why the toes, it makes no sense. It's nowhere near any of my surgeries. I guess I just have toe problems. But it's the sword swing that I am scared of in doing. Screen. What's sort of funny is I'm operating my phone with my left hand when I'm attacking and then with my right hand when I'm deflecting. In the screen. Come on, do an attack. Nope, just the screen. I guess the screen is an attack. This is a pretty good one to get, because I can do this. See what's his health at? It's fairly low. Still not quite low enough yet. We take, I think, 
two, and more than four more hits to get him down. Yep, two, three. Oh, there we go. It was actually exactly four. Because I was focusing on his vitality, not his posture. So time to just play this way more safe. Okay, he's to my right. He's doing the slide. I need to like bait out attacks like this one. Run slightly diagonally. And do that. Okay, I got in a hit on that guy. Very close. You can hear it in my voice. I was very tense during that. Got in that hit. Ooh, that was close. Okay, what are you doing? Headless. Got out of there. Okay, 11 left. Divine Confetti up. Are you going to do an attack? Okay. Ooh, that was close. Eight left. Okay. Ape is doing the combo. What is Headless going to do? Headless, are you in the docile mode now? Nope, he is not anymore. Now you're going on the aggressive. What are you doing? You're doing that. Need to get out of there just in time. Oh, this is bad. Yep. I... What I should have done was changed my target to the headless ape. Because it would have hit them both. And that would have staggered him. It would have prevented that attack from hitting. Ah, that was that one went much better. Did that phantom just appear for a second there before he spawned? I could have swore it did. That was weird. I'm also thinking maybe I shouldn't do the second hit of mortal draw. I should only do the first charged hit. Here goes another attempt. Guard swings. Are you going to scream? Are you going to scream now? There we go. right there. Oh, there goes the Divine Confetti. Green. Yep, there we go. Get away from this middle right here. You're gonna do your slide hit? Guess not. Doing that instead. 
That one is dangerous. I don't like it. But I didn't stagger him. That's not good. Got that hit in, though. Too close to the wall. What are you going to do? Slide hit. Ooh, that was close. I had to release right away. That was just not good timing on my part. Ooh, that was close. Usually after this, I get an opportunity, like right here. I'm wondering if I'm actually going to even do enough damage to the ape this way. Get out of here. I almost accidentally just pressed R2 right there. That would not have been good. Okay, I need to get another opener. Here's a decent... Ah, god damn it. Fuck. Ah. Oh. So unhappy about that. You know, I think for no hit, no damage, the ceremonial Tonto is allowed. Honestly, it would be kind of stupid if it's not. You are stabbing yourself to use it, but it's like it's like using Yasha. It would make no sense for it to not be allowed. Oh, yep, missed the first hit. Here goes another attempt. Yeah, there goes the scream. Are you going to scream? Nope. Well, that was a weird one. He took a really long time to do that. No need to wait. All right, let's you get up over there. I do wonder if I can hit the ape on the way down. My position right here. There. That did less damage. I'm not happy about it. I wonder why that did last damage. I guess during that he has resistance or something? It is him first coming down. Some enemies do have that. Oh, I hit them both that time, which is nice. Okay, this, I can run this pattern right here. I can also Tonto again, because I got that hit in. Ah, okay. I wasn't actually sure if that would stagger him out. I guess it would have if I had hit him while he was in the air. So I should have released a little bit earlier.
So let us Tonto again. Also, if those in chat do have any questions about the game, feel free to ask them. I will answer them when possible. Sometimes during a fight that is not easy to do. Scream. Jump. Hit four times. Deflect. Four hits, so I don't get too greedy. Run away from the screen. About this one. What is your question about the last Sekiro stream? I believe it was the Demon of Hatred attempts. That was five hits, slightly greedy. Oh, didn't get that. Oh, insta screen. Very dangerous. Into his screen. Yeah, Demon of Hatred. You have to do the um, Immortal Severance path to get that enemy to be there. It is there after Fountainhead Palace. Basically, when you enter the third phase of the game, which Shira Pass does not have a third phase of the game. Green? I guess not. There we go. First phase down. Yeah, that is sort of a, like, secret end boss. There's actually additional dialogue you can get there. I guess I can't use that. Oh, because I still have five. Well, it seems like that did the same amount of damage as last one when I hit him at the start. Hmm. Maybe his health bar, it just looked a little weird to me. That was uh, pretty dangerous right there. <laughs> Go for this hit. Now, sprint away. Go for this hit. Where are you? What are you doing, Headless Ape? You just kind of forgot that we're fighting? Nope, oh, I've got to go for this. Not good. Actually, very good. This has been some pretty good luck here. Okay, I need to keep him on screen to see what Headless Ape is doing. Okay, this one, I think I can get a hit. now. I don't want to. It's too, too risky. Right here would have been the hit. This, however, is perfect. Gotta get away in time? Whoo! Close. Okay. No! I was just within the scream range. I can't believe it. It was going so well. I could have had it that time. I could have had it that time. I would have been free. Free from this hell. Here we go again. Board swing? Nope, screw. I was so close to being free. I forgot to Tonto before the fight started. I'll have to do that when I get the chance. Like here. 
don't want to leave the hidden tooth out. That could be bad if I hit the wrong button. I still hate this attack right here. It's got really unclear hitboxes. So the Tonto halves your health. It does half of your max health and damage to you. It then gives you five temporary emblems. It's like uh, the uh, Blood Bullets in Bloodborne. Like exactly that's what it is. This is good. Although I'm actually kind of close to the uh, bat. I don't want to be. Okay. Get this going. Let's get this dance party going. Why did you just swing over that way? It's very strange. Okay. Oh, fuck. Not happy about that. Let me check something. I need to check. What are my items at? So I'm good for a while on that. I have 850 emblems. So I should be okay. Going to Tonto beforehand for more emblems and Divine Confetti. Here we go. Another attempt. Please no sword swing. Good. Only he did that one every hit. That one's so easy to dodge and deflect. He actually uh, hit the third. He missed the third swing. Oh, screen. And remember, behind him, the screen has a sh much shorter distance. Oh, this again. Nice. Oops, broke him out of it. You want to get three hits in when he staggers right there, any more than that, and he might hit you while you're in the middle of your next swing. So be wary. Gotta reset. God, imagine how fast this would be going if I didn't have to reset every time I get hit. It has been a little bit, so I was thinking just for funsies, I could show the power of Viral Cloud Passage. It does a lot of damage. I'm using more to draw because I can do it at better opportunities without getting hit. If I didn't have to worry about getting hit, I would do Spiral Cloud Passage hands down. And you're about to see why. It gets obscene. He got away.
Hey, look at that. Is that not obscene? And again, this is on New Game Plus 7, Charmless Demon Bell. Dragon Flash would also be a good one. It might actually be worth it to do a Dragon Flash one because I can use it at a further distance. It'll hit both of them through each other more easily. It's just a safer one to use. I might try with some Dragon Flash. Tonto before the start, Divine Confetti, and let's get started. But another attempt. This horrible fight. Zord. Scream. Yep. This fight is not so bad when you're not doing no hit, no damage. When you are, it's atrocious. You gonna scream? Nope. Oh. Are you gonna scream? Yep. One, two, three. Oh, damn it. Just slightly too late on that deflect. God, my neck is getting so sore. I'm having trouble just moving it. I might have to stop after the next few attempts because I'm just getting into be like so much physical pain. Let's do another attempt. No sword. Bam. I originally wish it was easier to use two hands while playing. You know, come to think of it, if this was the Wii and the controllers were separate, like the left hand and right hand were separate controllers, I would be able to play this with both hands at the same time. I think um, the Switch has that too, don't, doesn't the Joy-Cons do that? That'd be nice. This game is definitely not intended to be played one handed. Cream? Yep. I must just pause to get rid of the uh, firecrackers. You're not allowed to pause while doing challenge stuff. Three. Let's go for four that time because there was a little bit of time. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. That does hit you before the animation does. That's weird. It's like um. Right here. His, like, chest hits you. Yeah, I had never noticed that before when fighting him, but I hadn't been fighting him that close before. And, like, this precisely. But it's happened twice now. Using that before the fight. Two hits on the way down. My controller might be dying soon anyway. Okay. Run away. Oh. Damn. Oh, 
Well, yeah, the problem is I have to play with one hand usually. Because my hands usually have to be in very different positions as I play. One hand beneath the desk, one hand over my head, typically. And I'm constantly switching, basically, so... What I'm doing is I'm, like, juggling the controller. So, right hand, right hand, left hand. Right hand, right hand, left hand. So, it's really hard to do this right here, because I'm running while I'm using the left stick. Now, I actually have both hands on the controller at this moment, but I can feel all of the skin across my body tensing up. I just, it's like, um, you know that feeling where you get like a shiver up your spine? I get this across my whole body while I'm two-handed right now running around. Just from like the anxiety and having to keep my hands still in the same place. I have to mute for a second to cough. I am back, should be unmuted after coughing. Let's do this might be the last attempt, because I'm just in a lot of pain. <laughs> Yeah, it sucks. It makes playing this game very hard. The more anxiety I have, the like, worse it gets. It's one of many reasons I wouldn't want to do like a hand cam showing my hand while I play. Because it's also incredibly like ugly. You're just watching me like flipping my hands about and like gyrating and shaking my hands as I'm playing and twitching. One, two, three. It's not, it's very unpleasant. It's not hot to watch. Not attractive. I thought that was a scream for a second. This will be... No. No. Timed it wrong. No. No. Well. Let's see if I can get it with one hit. Just because this is probably the last attempt for now. I forgot I was using Dragon Flash. Actually, let's see. That did a good chunk of damage, didn't it? Let's see. Because at a range, it'll still hit. Okay. I was wrong for using Empowered Mortal Draw. That hits way harder. I kind of want to do one more attempt now. That hits exceptionally harder. That's very strange. Usually in Powered Mortal Draw, it's a little bit harder. You know what it is? I bet. So it should deal more damage, the Empowered Mortal Draw, to him, because he's an immortal, but the other ape isn't. So, one more attempt. I just... We need to test that out and see how it goes. Or at least one more attempt where I do that eight fight, the second eight. So I want to hit him some more with Dragon Flash. We 
You can also hit the 8 while it's screaming, because it's a ranged attack. You have to scream. It also only costs two emblems. God damn it. This is so fucking. It is just getting like harder and harder to even see the screen. And doing all of this while doing the fight perfectly. Not easy, although that one wasn't perfect, obviously, since I missed the deflect and accidentally blocked one and took chip damage. Basically forfeiting the whole fight. But I still want to see Dragon Flash against that. Can I hit it while it's in the air? Run away, run away. doing the combo. What is Headless doing? Okay. Do this. Not going so bad, actually. Okay, Headless, what are you doing? Get out of here. Get this hit in. Oh, bad timing. But yeah, that uh, that looks like it does really good damage. I've got to remember that for next time. I am going to be ending the stream. I'll actually see if there's anyone I can raid. I haven't really done raids before. I don't know how to. But let's uh, figure that out. Let us see who is available. Also, I just alt tab, so that's probably going to do something because it's a FromSoft game, and FromSoft games don't alt tab very well. Let's see if I can see who I'm following. Who is live? Marcy is. Lucky Bun is. I could um, send a Lucky Bun. Yeah, because I, I think you follow Lucky Bun anyway. Let me see if this works. But thank you for watching. I will see everybody next time. Bye bye. Oops, accidentally hit the wall. Thank you for watching.